Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. It doesn't matter which time zone you are at the moment. Thank you for joining this year's Leadership Forum. The theme for this year's forum is Design Education in the Era of AI. Organized by the School of Design, the Hong Kong Polytechnic University, and the Hong Kong Design Institute. This forum is a concurrent event under the program of the Business of Design Week. I am Professor Stephen Jiao Wang, Professor in Music Experience Design and Design Intelligence at the School of Design, Hong Kong Poly U. I will be your moderator for the morning session. First of all, I would like to invite the Dean of School of Design, Hong Kong Poly U, Professor Kong Piao Li, to give his opening remark. Let's welcome Professor Kong Piao Li. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Uh, today, uh, we are talking about AI and design education and the future of the uh, design research together. You know, AI is quite disrup disrupting our education and also research as well, and all the design practice as well. Okay? AI is redefining, AI is keep forcing us to redefine what are the, our future designers' core competencies? What should we teach? Because AI is replacing our traditional conventional skill set. Okay. But this kind of, no matter how disruptive this kind of new paradigm technological things is that, and is that this kind of things happen every 40 or every 30 years uh, coming on, okay? I'm kind of what the, uh, old enough to uh, experience already in the, the uh, different technological paradigm, which was around all of the 1980s, uh, that was computer, okay. Mm. In 1982, I was in Chicago, Institute of Design, IIT, uh, where I started the master program, okay. Uh, you know, in the master program, that time the computer was just coming in, in the, and a uh, school, and everybody wondering, including me and professors, uh, they are wondering, what do we do with the, that, uh, that computers, okay, new technology, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, then, uh, to, for that, covering that theme as a computers, there was uh, the symposium like uh, today what we have is uh, the design in information environment, okay. So that time, uh, the long term, the dean of uh, Institute of Design, uh, Patrick Hidney, uh, he talked about, you know, in his opening remark, okay, said, okay, okay, computer is around us, okay. Yeah. If we designers do not define what to do, our new role, others will do. Then, only alternative left to us is that our profession will go on, okay? Yeah. This is quite scary, okay? Yeah. Once again, I would like to ask a question that like AI is around us, okay? If we do not define our profession, our education will be disappear, okay? That's uh, quite scary, okay? So that is this uh, new technological paradigm is such a big and critical and it's not only just design academia or design industry uh, role to c cover that one, okay? But we need to really work them together, industry, academia, and all together, okay? But in the, in the stable, uh, the, what the technology, without any big disruption, normally industry, academia and researchers, they have different roles, quite separate, okay? Industry people, they actually touch upon their real world and all the things and practical knowledge, then hand it over to education based on that, their needs. They begin to teach. Then when they need the knowledge and researchers and theory, they generate knowledge. So that is pretty much separate, uh, uh, you know, their role. Like a very famous John Sally Brown said, if you know uh, you have the, uh, the, uh, what the correct answer, you just go industry, make it happen. But if you want to explore interesting questions, go to university. That's exactly a different role. But this time, I think that such a new paradigm is so uh, critical and disruptive, we cannot really stay apart, okay? We should work them together 
That's why we uh, invite you all together from industry and academia as well, okay? So last year, actually, about this time, we planned to uh, have a leadership forum in here, Hong Kong, in physically face-to-face, -face, okay? Uh, with the same theme, or some of them, you today, are same speakers. But as you know that about this time last year, there was a social unrest in Hong Kong, unfortunately. So we had to cancel, okay? But this year, again, we come here with a better speakers, better panel members, all the audiences with online, okay? So as I said, okay, we intentionally brought uh, from academia and industry together. Academia from Royal College of Art and Carnegie Mellon University and Zhejiang University, okay? In the meantime, also from industry who deal with the actual practical things from LG Electronics, IBM, and SenseTime. Okay? So that is what we are doing this. Okay? I, I, I think this today, different people, different background, they will have a really wonderful time learn from each other. I'm looking forward to that. Okay? But another, the, the, what is ever challenging now is that it's not only technological paradigm coming in us, in a coronavirus again, okay? So it's kind of a double tsunami coming in, okay? The coronavirus also, uh, you know, forced us to really, really, really to be innovative, okay? Yeah. In Hong Kong, we are just about to go to third wave, okay? Uh, yesterday, we have more than 100 confirmed cases, okay? Then what should we do, okay? But coronavirus is not necessarily bad thing, it's catalysis for you know, agent uh, force uh, to uh, driving us to be innovative. Okay? Let me share that how we take advantage of risk transform into the uh, innovation. Let me share that how we uh, take advantage of risk as a catalysis to innovate. Okay? Every design school, they have the design uh, show, annual degree show. You know, that I think this year, uh, many of design schools worldwide, they do web-based online uh, the, the, the uh, exhibition. But we create first 3D immersive the, uh, degree show. So let me share with you, okay? Uh, okay, okay. Uh, so that, you know, any, any, anyone, audience from around the world, they can just freely navigate and they can enter our school of uh, design in the same uh, as if they are actually in physical space. If they find out any good things, they just click and everything, okay? So coronavirus forced us to be innovative. That's a good side, okay? With AI also, again, you know, AI is uh, the many people that discuss about, oh, we have the problem of virus and morality and black box and, you know, privacy and so on and so on. But that kind of discussion was still on the surface level only. And any actually real problem, implication, what if that you know, AI is applied for society, what happened? It, it has been quite hidden. But coronavirus, because of coronavirus, actually all hidden problems coming up, you know, they, they have to discuss, they have to deal and confront with it, all the problems. For example, that each uh, country, they have different level of the uh, acceptance of the uh, privacy issues by having all the you know AI uh, technology and so on, so on. So they know now what's the problem AI and actual things. Okay. So once again, you know that uh, you know the coronavirus has a good side. Okay. I think that's really wonderful opportunity. Okay. So I think this take this irresistible force to think of the big questions, otherwise we would never imagine, okay? Thank you, I hope that all of the uh, six speakers today, I think they will share your wisdom and uh, all those excellent panel discussions. Thank you for all our teams, all the audience around the world, and for your uh, the hard work. Let's overcome for these difficulties together. Thank you.